Hey Quinn, we begin at four with breaking news. Police on the scene of an officer involved shooting in South St. Louis. Good afternoon, I'm Brent Solomon. This happened on Alaska Avenue in the Dutchtown neighborhood involving officers from St. Louis County. Our Robert Townsend is live on scene for us. Robert, what are you learning? Hey there, Brent. Right now, there's still lots of St. Louis City and County police officers all around this Dutchtown neighborhood. You can see the yellow crime scene tape is still blocking off this section of Alaska Avenue. Now, just minutes before we came on the air, St. Louis County Police Chief Kenneth Gregory arrived on the scene. Now, about a block over from this scene, we're also seeing crime scene tape stretch all across Virginia Avenue near Idaho, as well as a third street. Now, we saw officers walking around a black car on Alaska Avenue and a silver Ford SUV and another black car on Virginia. Investigators are telling me they're still piecing together all of the details at this hour about this officer involved shooting. A St. Louis County police officer spokesperson says around 1130 this morning officers with the department's Bureau of Intelligence and Special Response Unit were in the 4300 block of Alaska Avenue apparently looking for a homicide suspect. Now about two Hours later, several gunshots rang out. Neighbors said they hit the floor. Others tell me they just stormed inside their houses. Right now, we are being told at least one suspect was shot in the 4400 block of Alaska Avenue. I talked to a neighbor who didn't want her face shown and St. Louis County Police Sergeant Tracy Panis just minutes ago. I just heard gunshots, which is normal. But then when I heard it in rapid succession, I just kind of looked out the window and that's when I saw the cops over there and they were uh, shooting in the gangway of that building. They were watching and com um, conducting surveillance on a potential homicide suspect. And back here live, you can see several police officers are still focusing on this silver Kia. They have the hood up. We just saw them close the doors. They're clearly wearing gloves and focusing on this car, which obviously is centered around this investigation as well. Again, the good news, Sergeant Pan is also telling me that no officers were hurt in all this. We're on top of this story. We'll have another live report for you coming up at 5. Live in South City, I'm Robert Townsend. 5 on your side. All right, Robert, thank you. 5 on your side will stay on top of this breaking story. Look for updates on air on KSDK.com and on the Five on Your Side app. Right now at four, St. Louis County Police need your help locating a man they say is responsible for assaulting a woman on a Metrolink train. Police say the assault happened Christmas Eve last year and they're still looking for it. Five on Your Side's Diamond Palmer is live at the Metro stop in the Central West End, which is where the suspect got off of the train. Diamond. Well, Brenton K. St. Louis County Police tell us a man assaulted a woman after she boarded a train, the Metrolink train at St. Louis Lambert International Airport. And now almost a month later, police say they still don't have this man in custody. Now, county police tell us that this incident was unprovoked and the suspect and victim do not know each other. The assault happened just after 2.30 in the afternoon on Christmas Eve after a woman boarded the Metrolink train at Lambert. After the assault, police say the suspect got off the train in the Central West End and the victim was taken to the hospital for treatment. She is now OK, but police are warning passengers to be alert of their surroundings. If he's done this to one young lady on the train, he'll do it to another. So we want to make sure that we get him identified. And I realize there was a delay with putting out this information. Sometimes there's a delay with getting video footage. Sometimes we're making our own attempts and trying to identify an individual before we put it out there. So there can be some delays sometimes between an incident occurring and pushing out this information. But at this point, it's very important that we get him identified and get him in custody. By State Development, which operates Metro Transit, sent us a statement this afternoon saying that they take every incident seriously and they are working with county police to investigate this assault. Now, if you have any information on this incident, you're urged to call county police at Crime Stoppers at 866-371-TIPS. Reporting live here in the Central West End, Diamond Palmer, 5 on your side. Right now, a lawsuit against two St. Louis school districts accusing them of ignoring sex abuse allegations. A former custodian named Robert Smith now facing sexual abuse charges for an alleged incident at Eureka High in February of 2022. A student filed a lawsuit Friday against Rockwood and special school districts claiming both knew about the abuse and did nothing to stop it. 
In a statement, Rockwood officials said the district takes any reports of potentially criminal behavior very seriously. Right now, fire investigators are combing through a burned home in Chesterfield. Flames broke out on the back deck of a home on Country Ridge Drive. Right around 615 this morning, we're told the homeowner was able to escape and was not injured. Two dogs were inside the house. One of them died. The home suffered some damage to the roof and attic, but is not considered a total loss. New at four, one school in North St. Louis County is getting creative in an effort to recruit teachers. That's right. It's all a part of the Hazelwood School District's expansion into something called the thematic school concept. Following your size Mercedes McKay shows us how it works. Right now, the pilot program is taking place here at Southeast Middle School. Currently, teachers have a four day work week while students are still learning for five days. The idea was dreamt up by Southeast Middle School's principal for two main reasons. First, she saw a need for additional social and emotional support for her students. And secondly, staffing shortages were increasingly impacting her school, and she thought a four day work week would be a way to get more teachers in the doors. The concept encompasses a vocational and career technical education. So even though teachers are only there Tuesday through Friday, students are in the buildings Monday learning from community partners with lessons focused on careers and personal skills. For its first school year out of the gate, district officials say this new concept is working. Southeast Middle, uh, two years ago, we had a great number of vacancies and we had to rely heavily on uh, virtual instruction uh, in uh, several classes at uh, Southeast Middle, whereas this year we have very few um, vacancies. Right now, this four day work week is currently only for teachers here at this specific thematic school. In Spanish Lake, Mercedes McKay, five on your side. And this new concept allows teachers to create a passion lesson every Friday morning. The classes range from the history of St. Louis to yoga to blues music. St. Louis Cardinals spring training begins tomorrow and you can celebrate by scoring some cheap Cardinal tickets. For just six bucks, you can buy tickets for any Monday through Thursday home game right now. Besides the home opener, each ticket will be preloaded with six bucks in cards cash for concessions and souvenirs. That flash sale ends at nine o'clock tonight. So you got some time there. Well, we have an update on the theft of a Jackie Robinson statue. Police revealing their suspect and why they say he took it. There's a bit of a chocolate covered strawberry emergency at Crown Candy. Why they'll be working overtime to get the fruit dipped before Valentine's Day. And five on your side celebrating Black History Month. You can join us for our Black History Shaping St. Louis event happening on the 22nd at the Missouri History Museum. Kelly Jackson and myself will moderate. Happy hour starts at 5. The program is at 630. It is free. You don't have to register.